The presidential candidate of the All Progressive Congress, the APC, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, and his counterpart of the Labour Party, Peter Obi, have said that they will address the lingering insecurity challenges confronting the nation and fix the economy if voted into power come 2023. The duo stated this at the interactive session with presidential candidates organized by the Joint Arewa Committee in Kaduna State, aimed at bringing candidates to talk about the fundamental issues. Plus TV News correspondent Habila Durofai's report is presented from our studios. Kaduna State is known as the political headquarters of Northern Nigeria and a center of political activities. The presidential candidates of various political parties with their supporters stormed the state for a test of strength to make known what they have for the masses and how they can birth a new Nigeria with unity and peace. The final day of the interactive sessions for presidential candidates of political parties featured the presidential candidate of the All Progressives Congress, Ahmed Tinubu, and his counterpart from the Labour Party, Peter Obi. Speaking, the chairman of the Arewa Consultative Forum, Aldo Bey, in his remarks, highlighted some of the challenges facing northern Nigeria and sought to know what the presidential candidates have to do to salvage the region if voted in 2023. How do we improve on the management of local governments? Many of the governors here will tell you that they have challenges in the governance of local governments. Can we improve on that? Because many of us grew under the native authorities in this country when there was no allocation from anywhere. The native authorities did very well. Can we go back to that stage? Three, the youths and the women. We will never make progress if we lock away almost 70% of our population. Women and youths have to be included at every level. On his part, the APC presidential candidate Ahmed Tinubu promised that if voted into power, he would tackle insecurity, improve power generation, and empower the youth to be self-reliant and unite Nigerians as one nation. As you are aware, security is the foundation of resources. I am committed to mobilizing all assets within our national power to secure Nigeria. We did this in Lagos through many initiatives, especially the Security Trust Fund. Though we address many needs of our country, the forces which have to sanitize Lagos are in Lagos and conjunction with the federal government. His counterpart, Peter Obi, believes that with strategic leadership, Nigeria can turn our economic fortune around while promising to ensure that farmers return to their farmlands for the 2023 farming season. I know that this will do before that. But we must deal with that. In his easy. It is not difficult. We must make sure that the inputs are available. Our research centers are not working today. India produces variety of rice, about 100 every year. Our research center will produce one in five years. It won't work. We will get it to work. We will bring government back. So what it used to be when you had one, one. We will deal with it. But I know that the North is worried and they are talking about this security, yes, it is a problem. And I've told you, it's not the one thing we will deal with decisively, we will make it responsive and responsible. We're not going to take chances. The Arewa Joint Committee insisted that the interactive sessions with the presidential candidates are not a political campaign, but to X-ray the policy positions of the candidates, enumerate what the North stands to benefit from and to also meet minds on some fundamental issues as regards the future of Nigeria. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.